What's going on my fellow Jedi and Padawans? Welcome back to another Jedi Gaming video. Thank you guys so much for coming back to the channel. If you guys are new, welcome, welcome. Sorry for taking the past couple days off here. Had a few people within the family pass away over the weekend, so it's been a little tough, but we're back to help you guys out because that's really what I love doing, get my mind off of things. So we're doing a nice little easy video for you guys, helping you guys get that exotic loot before Witch Queen because we got so much content when that comes out. New Raid, Dungeon, Sabbath, Thunes, throne world it's gonna be nuts so you might as well get as much exotic armor that you guys don't have and you can farm some good rolls within these lost sectors so today we're going over another moon lost sector the k1 revelations this thing is pretty long as well but faster than the other ones within the moon because the moon lost sectors do suck time wise they're just time consuming and tedious but so worth it with loot so let's get right into this one so k1 revelation right here is in the sorrows heart and you have to deal with barrier and unstoppable champions with one arc shield really in the entire thing it's not really that big of a deal because it comes at the very end in the master and there are i guess a couple other ones when you're doing the legendary so the arc shields are what you gotta deal with but it's super easy using the builds that i come up with so first off right here we're gonna go over our hunter loadout with our weapons and then we're gonna go over our titan and our warlock as well they'll be using the same weapons and the same mods just a different super and exotic for them so to start off right here for our weapons we're going to be using a kinetic auto rifle now i have three of them right here the forward path from iron banner the horror story from our halloween event i love this thing and then right here the chroma rush which i usually use we're going to use this for our anti-barriers within the lost sector next for our secondary we're going with the trinity ghoul bow because it is perfect for ad clear and ad management within this lost sector dealing with all those ad acolytes especially at the end by that final ogre gets kind of hectic and this thing is perfect for clearing out all those ads finally right here we have threaded needle with vorpal so we can have particle deconstruction and it, this thing just absolutely melts our champions and our boss within this lost sector for my hunter super i'm going top tree night stalker so we can dodge to go invisible and that tether is perfect like i said for ad management because there are a bunch of acolytes within here to pair with that super i'm going to be using Orpheus Rig just because I love using this makes the super last a little bit longer and you get a lot of your energy back from using this right here. Now we have taking charge on this with our linear fusion scav right here on our cloak. We got charged up with particle deconstruction on our chest piece. We actually have a concussive dampener because there are a lot of grenades being thrown at you. If you do have a solar chest piece, you can put on solar resistant because that is most of the burn within this lost sector. Next right here, we got our unstoppable fusions for our threaded needle and our anti-barrier for our chroma rush with protective light so we can stay alive on some of those super hard hitting from our ogres that we got to deal with. Next right here, we have our ammo finder and fa another charged up mod just to keep with that charge with light so we can always be protected on that damage dealt with protective light. All right, for our Warlock right here, we're gonna go Top Tree Void Walker. So this right here with our super, when it detonates, it has all those like Axion bolts that kind of come off of it. And it's just perfect for ad management because like I said, there are a lot of Acolytes and this thing does deal a decent amount of damage for our boss. So we got basically the same mods on our armor right here. Particle deconstruction, linear fusion scav which charged up, linear fusion reserves which charged up, taking charge with anti-barrier and unstoppable fusion. And then finally right here, protective light with some ammo finders so we can always stay alive in those hard hitting situations. And finally right here, we have bottom tree sentinel with doomfang palindrome as our exotic. So we can have double shields when we're in our super for all of those acolytes and clearing out ad management. So once again, the same exact mods, Linear Fusion Finder with Charged Up. This is our Doomfang Paladrone, so we can have that super replenish with Bottom Tree when we pop it, so we can clear out all of those ads within the Lost Sector with our Unstoppable and Anti-Barrier. More Protective Light right here with our Charged Up and Scavengers, and then finally Particle Deconstruction and Taking Charge right here. So now getting into the actual walkthrough for the Lost Sector right here. So when you initially load in, there's going to be a bunch of those accolades 
Acolytes. So pull out your Trinity Ghoul, get one defeat with it, and have that arc procced. And then you can just go to town in this room and wipe out all the other Acolytes. The Trinity Ghoul is perfect for this Lost Sector. Just make sure you get it procced if you lose it. Pretty easy with how many Acolytes are in here. But just keep moving on slowly and you will deal with a first Barrier Champion right when you come into that room. It'll continue to move back and jump down the ledge. So just make sure you deal with all the Acolytes before actually dealing with that first Barrier Knight. Once all the Acolytes are gone, just stay up on the top ledge. Pop it a couple times with your Threaded Needle. If its shield pops up, just deal with that with your Auto Rifle real quick. And then you can probably finish it off depending on the damage with even your Auto Rifle. So once you get that first Knight down, just be a little cautious. Pull out your Trinity Ghoul and deal with the Acolytes because that Shrieker will absolutely melt you. And another barrier pops up underneath actually on the bottom platform. So just shoot the Acolytes on top first and then the Acolytes on bottom real quick then with my hunter here i go invisible and go behind these boxes so i can deal with that shrieker with my threaded needle super easy one hit to its crit and it blows up then you can move on to the barrier champion which in this time has moved up to the same level as you just across a little gap and you can deal with that with your threaded needle and your auto rifle now you jump over to where you defeated that barrier and pull out your bow your trinity ghoul because there will be a lot of acolytes that spawn with a barrier up top and a barrier to your right so you just kind of play on this platform for a while dealing with all of the acolytes down low and by your champions because when you deal with that champion and the last add around a certain crystal an unstoppable ogre will pop up so you do have to be careful with when you kill the last enemy within that first little wave by each crystal because that's how it works so just make sure you kind of stay back. Like I said, deal with your enemies from a distance and then just make sure when you do deal with that barrier last or if there is one acolyte, you deal with it from a distance just because that unstoppable ogre will come out and with the void burn inside of the lost sector, it melts super fast. So just play at a distance, stun it, and then you can absolutely destroy it with your threaded needle. Deal with the other acolytes that come out with the ogre and then after all the enemies are dealt with around that first crystal you can blow it up now instead of going up onto the left side where we were initially at kind of the path that it takes you stick to this right hand side and kind of climb up the back stairs because you deal with the last crystal if you will before you actually deal with the second one so when you go up there there will be that barrier knight just kind of chilling there with the acolytes so try to get a trinity ghoul shot off on them first to deal with them and then you can deal with the barrier super super easily but be careful because like i said once you deal with that barrier Barrier, that unstoppable ogre will come out and just like I did right here I pop my tether to deal with it then you can stun it and absolutely melt everything around because of that tether now once you deal with that unstoppable ogre and deal with that second crystal you can break it and kind of move to the left and deal with that last one because it's where we will actually set up for our boss damage too. kind of rotate around to where I am there will be some acolytes below to your left that you have to deal with so be careful for them because they do tag team pretty quickly and hit super hard with that explosion their grenades that they throw with that solar damage so just deal with all of those and move on to that last barrier champion like I said deal with them from afar because once you destroy them that ogre will come out and it melts once the ogre comes out I kind of play by the boss right here you can just stun them again and absolutely melt them and then it's super easy to deal with those acolytes with trinity ghoul because of that lightning burst that it has is super super good for right here so just to be aware, once you deal with this final crystal, you have to shoot the one above the ogre's head and it'll become unimmune and you can actually start dealing damage. You can put about a clip into it from your heavy before it'll start to shoot again and move backwards. So just do that and deal your damage on it as much as you can because there will be two barriers that are up there and a bunch of acolytes that spawn once you do enough damage. So you have to play it super, super slow. Now you can either stay where I am right here for that initial damage and then just work the barrier off on the left hand side and deal with the acolytes you know switching between your chroma rush and your trinity ghoul or you can kind of do what i did here once i started to take some damage you move 
back to that right hand side where we dealt with that second crystal and up those stairs and then you can kind of pull the barrier knights around that corner so you can play with the rock and then deal with them one at a time which is super helpful so once you kind of move and maneuver your way around the lost sector to that right hand side you can hide behind this pillar and then deal with the barrier champions and once you deal with them easy peasy deal with your boss just watch out for the snipers those acolyte snipers on top because they do hit like a truck but that's what the trinity ghoul in this last part is for once you have it procced and the boss is gone with your heavy that you were dealing with with the threaded needle you just use the trinity ghoul the rest of the time because it'll just be acolytes and then that one arc shield for the master is in this final part right here when everything starts to spawn it'll be a knight with a shield so you just deal with that and all the acolytes that spawn with trinity ghoul if you need to you can pull out your heavy but you're probably not going to need it so it's super nice you can just clear the rest of the lost sector easily with the trinity ghoul finish out all the acolytes and all the waves of enemies bada bing you're done with the lost sector easily nothing to worry about just cruise through it you got your exotics you got a solo flawless hopefully with it with this guide nothing too crazy for it so hopefully this helped you guys out get that exotic loot like i said before witch queen get all of your armor that you need some god rolls for this lost sector whatever it's dropping this week right here it's arms for me but it always rotates so you never know once again thank you guys so so much for watching and the support it means a lot to me definitely got a lot of content to cover before witch queen and especially once witch queen comes out it's going to be absolutely crazy so thank you guys so so much again i'll catch you guys in the next one peace